All right, this video is gonna show you the options for the different globals on status, Step Audio's MIDI display. To get into the globals menu, you need to hold down the button while you power status on. The first global is the MIDI receive channel. That's the channel that status will respond to when it receives incoming MIDI data. To change it, turn the knob. You can choose channels 1 through 16 or Omni, which means it'll respond to information on any channel. The default is channel 15. Make sure that Status's channel matches whatever channel your MIDI device is sending information out on. Press the button. The second global lets you choose what screen is displayed after Status powers on. You can choose program name, which is the default, BPM, which is the tempo. Flasher, which flashes the whole screen in time with an incoming clock or with the clock that status generates. And data display, which is really handy if you use status as a MIDI data display tool. The next screen is the default screen for the data display screen. So every time you navigate over to the data display screen, or if that's your startup screen, this is the type of information that's gonna get displayed. The default is for control changes only. You can choose notes if you have a keyboard, real-time information, which is like MIDI start and stop, pitch bend if you have a pitch wheel on your keyboard, all, which means it'll display any incoming MIDI data, System messages, which are status-exclusive messages that are text messages. And program changes only. Again, the default is control changes only. Press again. Status lets you control the tempo using control changes from an external device. This is the channel that those control changes need to come in on for status to respond. Again, the default is 15. Make sure that this channel matches whatever device you're trying to control status with. The BPM max screen lets you choose whether the max tempo that status outputs is either 240 or 300 BPM. Some devices have trouble responding to MIDI clock that's at a higher BPM, so you might need to turn this down to 240 BPM. The default is 300. The next screen is what type of graphic appears above the tempo when you're on the tempo display screen. The default is to have the asterisks flash back and forth, but you can also use these spinners or you can have the asterisks scroll across the screen. Next, if you want to synchronize your Line 6 or Behringer devices to your other devices, well, those devices don't use MIDI clock they use a control change instead. So if you have Line 6 or Behringer devices that you want to synchronize, you turn this feature on. Then when you press the button, you can tell it what controller number that synchronized control change should get sent out on. The default is 64, which is what Behringer and Line 6 use. Free the Tone and T-Rex and some other devices use different numbers, so if you need to, you can change that here. Then you can tell it what channel those control changes should be sent out on. Default is channel one. If you need a different channel, you select it here. Just make sure that this channel matches the channel of the device that's receiving this information. Next, you can choose whether or not to allow status to pass through information that's not coming in on the MIDI receive channel. The default is to block it, which would be off. If you wanna allow information to pass through to your other pedals that comes into status, that's not on its MIDI receive channel, you turn this on. You can also decide whether or not to filter out incoming control changes, because status generates its own control changes. So if you want to just use status's control changes, leave this off. If you want to allow control changes coming into status to pass on to the rest of your MIDI devices, turn this on. You can also filter out keyboard data. If you want to filter it out, turn pass keyboard data off, if you want to allow keyboard data to pass through status, turn this on. Song select information is very rarely used in guitar effects, so the default is to block song select information. 
But if you want to allow it to pass through, turn off the block. Status can also remap two different MIDI controllers separately for each program. In the globals, you decide what incoming controller number is going to get remapped. The default for controller 1 is control change 1. If you want a different number, you select it here. And then the default for controller 2 is control change 11, which is normally an expression pedal. With Status's controller remapping, you can have one or two expression controllers and remap them to different pedals for different programs. That way you don't need a different controller for each pedal. Then if you want to dump your globals and capture them on a computer or other device, you can do that here by turning this on. Press the button and Status sent out that globals information downstream. Finally, if you want to restore Status's factory settings, you can do that here. Switch this over to on, press the button again. It'll ask you if you're sure, because if you do this, it's gonna erase all the information on status and all your program names. But if you wanna do that, go ahead, turn it to on, press one more time, and status will restart. But understand that that also reset all the globals. As you can see, program number one is renamed to the default and all the globals have been reset. Now we'll go back into the globals menu. Again, we held down the button while we powered status on. If you want to make changes and save them, you hold down the button until it says global saved. Now after status restarts, those globals will take effect. You can also modify status as globals using the online programmer available at stepaudio.net.